Okay. The OSI model have seven layers. Uh, from seven to one, they are application, presentation, session, transport, network, data link, and physical. Uh, the TCP IP model, on the other hand, has four layers, application, transport, network, and data access. Uh, as you can see here, uh, in the OSI model, the function of the application layer is to provide the user interface to the user, okay? And uh, the protocol data unit or PDU, okay, is called payload, yani your data. Uh, in the presentation layer, uh, it is responsible for reformatting, compressing, and encrypting data. This is all done in the presentation layer of the OSI model. And the PDU there is called payload. In the session layer, it is responsible for the setup, management, and teardown of a session between two computers. So establishing the session and tearing down the session is done by the session layer and the PDU is called payload. Is my voice clear? Clear, Doctor. Transport layer, thank you. Transport layer. Uh, here the PDU is called segment or datagram. And the function is it provides reliable and unreliable delivery of data. When we talk about reliable, this is done by TCP protocol. Okay, if we talk about unreliable delivery, this is done by uh, UDP protocol. Okay, so TCP is reliable, UDP is unreliable. UDP is fast, TCP is a little bit slower because it's reliable. Okay, and uh, the PDU is called. Uh, segment okay <clears throat> udb stand for user datagram protocol tcp for transport control protocol and then we have layer number three which is network layer uh, this is responsible for finding the best route for a packet to take to reach destination. This is by the, the network layer. And uh, the PDU there is called packet. And an example of a device that is active or functioning in the network layer is the router. So router is a good example for a network layer device. Okay. Uh, by the way, what is the information in the packet? In the, in the packet, we have the IP address. It is using logical, logical addressing. We call it IP address. The network device or the operating device are called routers. Okay. And these are the protocols, TCP and UDP. And I just told you the this is for the transport layer. And this is for the network layer. It is IP and ARP. IP is the internet protocol, okay? It is a best effort. So there is no guarantee. When you are using the IP, there is no guarantee. It's a best effort. And it is based, based on source and destination IP address. The ARP resolves MAC address from IP address, okay? Now we come to layer number two, which is frame layer. Frame layer or data link layer, sorry, data link layer. It is responsible for the framing of data for media as well as the static addressing of hosts. And when we talk about link data or data link, sorry, it is using the MAC address or physical address. And the PDU there is called frame. Okay, please, you need to know this information. And the device that is active in the data link layer, it's called the switch. 
because when we talk about switch, we are talking about LAN. LAN, it will connect computers inside one network. Okay. Examples for application uh, protocols, application, the first uh, player number seven, we have POP3 and IMAP, they are for email, SMTB for email also, DSCP, dynamic IP addressing assignment, DNS, it translates domain name into IP address. And if you type www.hct.ac.ae, DNS will translate it into IP address. HTTP is used for browsing the World Wide Web. And HTTPS is similar to HTTP, but it is secure. FTP is used to transfer files over network, file transfer protocol. Okay. Now, when we talk about a physical layer, physical, it is the physical layer that is responsible for sending bits via a wired or wireless transmission. And this is the last stage in your layer where now you are ready to transmit or send bits on the wire or via a wire or wireless in the air, okay, or in space like this 0110, for example. So it's called physical and the payload is called bits, okay? Now, in the TCP IP model, we combine application, presentation, and session into one layer, okay? And it's called application. So application layer is doing the functions of these three layers together. Uh, so this is layer number four. Layer number three is this transport layer. It is similar to the transport layer in the OSI model. So in the transport layer, the BD, PDU is called segment, uh, same. Now this information is important. You will be asked about this. And then in the network is the same network or internet layer. And the PDU is called packet. The active devices in network, uh, is exa for example, is a router. Now we have physical data link and physical. They are combined into one layer and it's called data access. Okay, so this is the difference between the OSI model and the TCP IP model. Now let me just ask some questions. If I ask you, if I am using a LAN, I have a classroom and I have con configured a local area network to connect all the computers in my classroom to the server inside the classroom. Which device I will need? Uh, router. Do I, you will need what? Uh, switch. switch. You will need a switch because it's only a LAN. It's only a local area network. I am not going outside. I'm not going to the internet. I'm not going to another campus. So it oh. is a switch, okay? And oh. which IP, which uh, I will use, MAC address or IP address? Uh, In the IP data link address. layer, we will use MAC address. When oh. you use switch, you are using MAC address or physical address. If you want to connect a LAN to another LAN, then you use router and then you will need to use IP addresses, okay? Also, uh, for the transport layer, the PDU is called segment or datagram, and the header will have port number, port number. For example, if I am using HTTP on my browser, if I am browsing the internet and I'm using HTTP, the application layer will open port number on my uh, computer. And this port number, for example, can be uh, port number 80. There are some common port numbers you can check in the slides. For example, 80 is for HTTP, okay? Okay, I will stop the recording.